Hi everyone. This video is going to help you understand how to navigate through your course. You'll notice when you click into your course and you're on your home page, the name of your course will be listed towards the top. And you'll also have some other information. So your course summary will be listed here. You'll have information about your instructor or instructors, depending on who that might be. So you'll just scroll through to find who your instructor is to read more about them. The information that also is there with your instructor is their email address, their phone number, and their Zoom room link. So you can find all of those things about your teacher. I'm just clicking back to the home page again. You also should have this information listed on your home page. So your teacher's name, their live session days and times once they're available, and then their Zoom room link to be able to get to your, to your live session at that appropriate day and time will be listed there as well. There's a little spot for more class information. This gives you your course syllabus, the academic vocabulary, the course handbook, technology specifications, whatever is linked here, you can click to be able to read more about. Okay, so I'm just going back to home again. You'll have a spot where you can review and understand the live session expect expectations and weekly participation. So this is a big one. We need to click there. Make sure that you're reading through attendance, what the suggestions, and then the information about your live sessions and the scoring that you receive for your participation assignment. You'll also see the expectations here for your behavior during live sessions. Okay, I'm just going to go back up here for a minute. I'm clicking on the link to the recordings and participation assignments. So when we click to that link, it will take us to a grid that has those assignments populated. So you'll see on the left the weekly participation assignment. You'll see the module and the seminar that it's associated with, the content or activities, and then on the right you'll see the date and the link to the video. It also will have your teacher's name because sometimes more than one teacher are in a course. So make sure that you're clicking on the appropriate link. So I'm just going to go to the weekly participation assignment for week one so you can see what it looks like. So when I click into the assignment, you can see a due date, the points that it's worth, and then my choices. So for your participation assignments, you have two choices. The first choice is to participate in at least one live session during the week. Your teacher will make a note of your attendance. It also will be recorded in the chat box and on the video itself. So your teacher will always be able to go back and look if it's necessary. Choice two, you'll have to watch your instructor's recording. Let's say, for example, I had dance lessons this week and I just couldn't make it to live session. So this week, I might have to watch a recording that's listed below here. And then I'll make a template using this link. So when you open it, you'll make a copy. And you'll use that template to help you take your notes as you're watching the video. Once you've done that, then you'll upload those notes from the recording. You can either upload the template back, the copy that you made. You can copy and paste the information into a text box. Or if you hand wrote your notes, but you still followed the template because you have a reflection paragraph you also have to respond to, you can just upload that photo. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to submit your assignment. This one I already submitted, but it will say submit assignment at the top here. So once you're in here, again, it will show you the choices. It will also give you the recordings once they're linked. And then it will show you some tabs across the top. So we have a file upload, we have a text entry, a website URL, some media, if we need to record something, we can do that. So I'm going to pretend that I'm just using text entry and I can just submit the assignment, okay? So once I type in my submission, if I'm copy and pasting or if I'm including a photo, 
of my handwritten notes that I'm going to make sure is very clear and facing the proper direction up and down so my teacher can read it easily so that they will accept my assignment. Then you'll click submit down here. Okay, and then it's submitted. Now, if you need to resubmit for some reason, you forgot something or you didn't do something correctly once you thought about it a little bit more, you can always go back and resubmit. Just make sure that you're including everything in your resubmission. Okay. All right, so I'm just going to go back home for a minute. So once I scroll down, this is where we left off the review and understand the live session expectations and weekly participation. There also might be a spot close by that shows you the link directly to that grid where the recordings will be. And this one just happens to be right here. So this is that same grid. It just is closer and a little bit more easily accessible. All right, and then sometimes your teacher might have something directly on the homepage to help you with something that's specific to your language. So in this one, it gives a link to help you know, making accent marks on your computer or your iPad or your Chromebook or whatever your device might be. So this particular one is just for, you know, the French one class, but there might be something different in your course or there might not be anything. You might have the things embedded in your assignments themselves. So once we scroll down a little bit more, you'll see your course requirements. You have to complete the seminar requirements in order, so make sure that you're doing them in order. And you'll notice that we have some blue uh, words that are linked. And then you'll see on the other side, we have some just black type that's not. So on the left, these are your modules. These are the big idea of the lesson. And on the right, you have the seminar lesson. So think of these as just the individual lesson that breaks down the big topic, okay? So whenever we click into these, I'm just going to click into the third one where it says Au Café. When we click in, just give it a second to bring it to the top. So we're going to start here. Now you'll notice that when we get to our modules and our seminar lessons, that we all the way on the right, we have these open circles. So once we start to work through these little green check marks, and I'll just scroll up a little bit so you can see another one that I already did. You'll have these little green check marks that fill in once we've done them, okay? All right, so once we are where we need to be though, let me get back there, I'm sorry. We're going to start at the very top one in that module. So I have to start at the first one. So once I click in, I'll land on something called the overview page. And the overview page is going to give you the list of all the things you need to do in the seminar lesson. You'll notice that there are open circles here as well. And as we complete them here, they'll just turn completely black. They'll be solid, okay? So when I scroll down, you'll have your overview. It will give you some information. It will give you especially some academic concept vocabulary. This is very important. You should have a notebook and be writing these things down as you're working through your seminar lesson. You'll also see this visual where it shows you what you need to complete in the lesson. Now, as we work through, these red X's will turn to check marks and we'll know what we need to go back and finish if it's necessary, okay? You'll also notice that there is an estimated time frame and amount of points that they're assigning for each of these activities, okay? So once we scroll to the bottom, it will show you your totals, and it also will show you some brown arrows. So this brown square with the two white arrows in it. So we always need to find this little button to be able to progress through the lesson. So I'm going to click that to get to the next page. And on the engage page, this is giving you the idea to get you ready for what's happening in the lesson seminar, okay? And you'll notice real quick, you see how I viewed the overview page? It already turned solid for me. So now I'm on the engage page. Watch that when I click to the next one. So we're going to go down and find that brown arrow again. And we'll click through. And you'll notice at the top, the engage page 
turned solid because I clicked through to the next page. So now on this page, this is our explore, and this is where all of your lesson information is coming from. So on the explore page, you'll have some tabs across the top. They're watch, read, do, and culture. All of these tabs you need to complete and watch and take notes on, read and take notes on. So for this first one, we've got a little video here. And you'll notice that below whatever it is, the watch, read, or do, or culture, that you also have this extra kind of activity that's matching. Okay, so what you'll do is you'll just drag and drop whatever the items are, and I'm not necessarily putting them where they belong, I'm just throwing them over here wherever. You're putting them into the places. You'll notice in the directions that we're, like I said, dragging and dropping, and at the bottom, we'll use the buttons to check our answers. You'll do the check whole questions to submit your answers for a score. You need to click reset to try it again, and you need to keep going until you get them all right. Now, even though you see this activity on this first tab here below the watch, it actually will be there in all of the tabs. So if you're not ready to do it yet, you want to wait until you've done everything, you can wait until the very end to do it. Okay, so here's my buttons to submit. And then if you want to do an alternative activity, you can always do that as well. Okay, so I'm just going to go back up to the top so I can see those other tabs because I didn't do any of the others yet. So my read tab, I have a couple things here that I need to go through. Again, taking notes as I go. My do tab, we've got a little French food games here for this one. And then there's also a Quizlet. Sometimes you have Quizlets, sometimes you have quizzes, sometimes you have different games that your teacher has just found on the internet to be able to play. The Quizlet oftentimes will look like this though, where you'll start the game here. And then if it's another type of game, it might be linked like this where it just looks blue. So make sure you're trying everything on those pages to play. And then here is the culture that this particular lesson has. Again, make sure that you're clicking each of the things that are available. So anytime it looks blue, that's something to click into. Anytime a video is embedded like this, you can just watch it right there. Okay, and again, you're keeping taking notes as you go. Now, if I scroll to the bottom, look, that matching activity is still there. So if you want to wait to the very end, you can wait to the very end to complete it. Okay. So I want to scroll down. I'm pretty done with this for now. So we're finding those brown arrows again to navigate through. The next page that you'll come to is your explain page. And when you scroll down a little bit, this is an opportunity to discuss the information and concepts and ideas from the seminar lesson. So if you ever have a problem or can't remember how to complete this assignment, you'll see a short video right here. So it's a lot shorter than the video you're watching now. So it'll give you that quick burst of information to help you do it later if you forget. But you'll see the directions for the assignment listed. Okay. You'll also see, especially, this is important, the tips for a strong response. So for the express, you must use correct grammar and punctuation, capital letters, periods, check your spelling. You'll lose points if you do not do that. Your response should restate the question and refer to specific items from the Explore page, using specific vocabulary words to help you with your answer if possible. Responses such as, I agree, yep, that's cool, they're not responses that will get you full credit. You can say things like, I agree, and that you like a word too because it reminds me of, just expand your thoughts, just elaborate a bit. Now you'll notice on this page, there's nothing that helps me submit this assignment. It's not here. So in order to complete this assignment in the directions here, it tells us that we have to go to the modules tab in the left sidebar, okay? And then we have to find the explain assignment under the correct module and seminar. Okay, so this is what we're looking for right now. We're looking for whatever this says here. So module three, seminar one, we're trying to find the explain assignment. Okay, so it said I'm supposed to go to the modules tab in the left sidebar, which is right here. Okay, so when I click on it, I'm actually going to right click on it so that it opens a new tab because I don't wanna lose my place on the page where I am right now because I want to keep working today. So I'm going to open it in a new tab. You'll notice it opened up here. 
So I'll click on that one and then I need to find it. So what we said it was module three, seminar one. So I'm just going to scroll down until I find that. Module three, seminar one. And actually you can see here that I started this lesson, right? I started working through the read, the watch, the do. So my little green check marks there. So that shows me that I left off here. So I'm going to click the explain. When I click the explain, the assignment will open. It will look a little bit different, but it still has the same prompt. And this time it gives me a spot to make my reply. Okay, so you read the, the prompt. Once you have read the prompt and you responded in your two to three complete sentences, okay, using proper grammar and punctuation, right? Then we can post that reply. So I'm going to click on the blue there. Once I've done that, I'll also, I'll also be able to see my classmates' responses. And you'll notice that for number two, you also have to review the posts of your peers and respond to at least two other posts. So once I made my initial post, then I'll be able to see my classmates' posts, and then I can make those responses. Again, make sure that you're responding in that complete sentence, elaborating a little bit more than just saying, I agree, or that's cool. Make sure that you're responding more thoughtfully and that you're still using complete sentences, proper grammar. Okay, so now you'll notice that, guess what? I don't have my brown arrows anymore. I have these things and they look like they're going to get me through, but you cannot use these tabs, okay? So we're going back to that other tab at the top of my navigation bar where I was, right? I didn't want to lose my space, remember? So I'm back to that explain. I already submitted in the other tab. So I can go to my brown arrows again and go through to the next page. Now on this next page, you see that it's adding my little black circles as I go. So on the evaluate page, we've got some questions about the lesson. Now I'm just going to kind of click through and put in whatever, I'm not paying any attention to what the questions really say, but you are going to, right? I'm going to take your time and think about the questions. Once you have them all responded to them, you're going to click the submit, and then it will give you some um, feedback on that, and you can try again if you need to. So for your uh, continuing to go through, we are still using those brown arrows. Now the next page is asking us to do something called elaborate. This is an assignment to apply the information and concepts and ideas from the seminar lesson. So you have some choices. You have a choice one and a choice two, so you'll read through your choices because they're very different from lesson to lesson, okay? Make sure that you're completing everything that it asks you. But again, you'll notice that there's no place to submit, right? It just tells me what it's asking me to do. So if I look back up in these instructions again, it's asking us to click on the modules tab and there we'll find the elaborate assignment. So again, we're looking for this number, module three, seminar one, elaborate. Okay, so I'm going back to my modules tab. I'm right clicking and opening in a new tab. And then I'm going to open that tab and I'm going to find it. So module three, seminar one, here I am, I'm back. And remember, as I go, it's going to put those green check marks in. You'll see the explain that we just did is check marked. Now, this is where I am, the elaborate. So I'm going to click on the elaborate and it will take me to that assignment. And again, the directions are all still here. So you'll choose one of the choices and you'll complete one. Okay, so either choice one or choice two. So once we decide which choice we want, we can go up towards the top. We'll click on Submit Assignment. And once I've done that, it still gives me those two choices. So depending on which choice I want, let's pretend I want to do choice two, it's asking me to copy and paste the list and add your responses when you submit. So I can just copy. And then because I'm using 
this is kind of a text entry function. I'm going to click on the tab that says text entry and I'm going to just copy and view it there. And then I'll just put my extra response here. Okay, because that's what it asks me to do in this particular assignment. Okay, so whatever that might be, you just need to fill in whatever the response would be. Whoops. <laughs> okay, so once we have that filled in, we'll scroll to the bottom and we'll click Submit Assignment. Okay. And if you're like me, sometimes you forget to do things and it occurs to you after you click the button. Sometimes you might have to go back and resubmit an assignment or maybe your teacher wants you to resubmit assignment. Maybe you misunderstood the directions and your teacher wants you to do it again. You might have to click back into the assignment and resubmit. So when we do that, um, you still have the same choices and I'm going to talk about a different choice this time, but we have the file upload. So if you want to send like a Google document or something like that, just make sure that you're sharing permissions so that your teacher can see it. The text entry that I just showed you a minute ago, you can also put in um, embed your images here if you wish to as well. A website URL and media. So I just wanna talk about that media recording because sometimes you might have to do a voice recording or you might have to do a video recording of yourself. So here's where you do that. So you can either record media here or you can upload media here. So depending on how you want to do it. This is really nice though because you can record right here. Just click start recording and you can say whatever you need to say and then click finish and then save and it will pop it right into your assignment. Once it does that, you can click Submit Assignment and it will submit that. Now, because I actually submitted two assignments for this one, your teacher will actually be able to see both of them, but the second assignment is the one that will open for your teacher initially, okay? So, let's go back to our tab that we were in our course with our brown arrows working through. Okay, so we're here on the elaborate back here. You'll notice that I don't have that black circle yet because I have to click through in order for that to happen. I submitted in the other tab, so I know that I've already submitted my assignment, so I'm coming back over just to work my way through to the next page. And once I do that, remember that little black circle is going to fill in. And then I'm on this last assignment called Express. So the Express assignment, we're reflecting on the information, concepts, and ideas from the seminar, okay? So my choices are down here. I have two choices. One is to respond to the reflection, you know, the prompt here. You'll have to reflect in a paragraph of 50 to 100 words, answering all of the questions, okay? Don't just answer one of them. You need to respond to all of them. Be sure that you're using vocabulary or language structures that you learned in the seminar. Be specific. Use things from the lesson so your teacher knows that you can use them. The second thing that you can choose to do is to post an artifact and reflect on it. So you can read about what an artifact is here. Make sure that when you're creating that artifact that it relates to this particular seminar that you're on. It could be a song, a dance, a meal, artwork, audio clips, study tools. Okay, and then you also have to respond to what did you learn by creating the artifact? Be specific, okay? Make sure that you're using correct grammar and punctuation. Review your writing before you submit to ensure that you have complete sentences. Answer the questions as specifically as possible by making references to things that you did or learned during the seminar. This is super important. Make sure that you're making those references. Okay, so these are those tips to help you get the most points possible. Now again, you'll notice, guess what? No blue submission button. So we have to do this the same way. You'll notice in the directions here, it asks us to open the module tabs on the far left sidebar again. So we're looking for module three, seminar one, the assignment that says express. Okay, so again, we're going back up to the modules. We're opening in a new tab. And once that new tab opens, I'm just gonna bring my arrow up so you can see it. We're going to click into that new tab 
We said module three, seminar one. So I'm just scrolling down. Module three, seminar one. And remember that we have those little green arrows again. So I know that I'm here because this one isn't done yet. Okay, so express, this is where I need to be. So again, you'll see when the due date is populated, you'll see that, you'll have the points, and then you'll scroll down to see what the assignment is asking you to do. So again, here's the reflection paragraph, and here's the artifact information. Okay, so you just pick which one of these you'd like to do. Towards the top, you'll see that submit button. Okay, so we're going to submit the assignment. Again, you'll still have your directions at the top so you can choose which you'd rather. Again, you'll choose if you want to do the file upload, the text entry, the website URL, or media. Okay, once you put in the information, you'll submit the assignment. Okay, so you type in what you need to, answering all parts of that, and then you'll click your submit assignment. And be sure that you are following those tips in order to earn the most points possible. Okay, so now I'm just going to click back over to my original tab. I submitted my assignment. Okay. So once I submit my assignment, I come back to my original tab and then I have to find that brown arrow again to click through. All right, and I'm at the end. So you'll notice that all of my little um, circles have blackened. I'm going to go back to my overview though because I want to make sure that I'm doing a good job and that I have everything. I noticed that at the bottom here, it says that I only have a nine out of 15 and only 87% progress. So I want to see what the problem is. So I need to go back to my overview button. And then I'm going to scroll down to that chart again so I can see where my problems are. And I see my two red X's here. So I didn't spend enough time exploring on the page where the videos and the read section and the games and the culture were. I also didn't finish my interactive matching game. So this is where I'm missing some points. So I can always go back and do those as well. And you can click directly on this link to get there easier if you'd like. Okay. So let's just go back over here for a minute. We talked about your homepage. We talked about the modules where you can find your assignments. I just want to talk for a minute about your announcements. So this is where your teacher may send something that they want you to be able to access easily. So for example, uh, your tips and suggestions for completing assignments so that if you need a reminder on a particular assignment and what you need to do to earn the most points possible, this is where you might find those. Your teacher might send you something like help making accents on your computer or your Chromebook or your iPad. So there's lots of different things they might send you through your announcements. Another spot that you need to be familiar with are your grades. So when you click on grades, you'll see all of the assignments are listed here in blue and they are linked as well. So you can click them if you need to. Once you see uh, the assignment, you'll also see the due date next to it. And then you'll also see the score that you've earned for that assignment in the first column of numbers. And then in the second column of numbers, this is how many points the assignment is worth. Okay, some things grade themselves. For example, this little assignment that I did, it graded itself. So I got eight out of 15 points so far on this one. Sometimes it will look like a T or a little speech bubbles or a little video symbol. These are things that my teacher has to grade. So my teacher hasn't graded these assignments yet because they're not actually due yet. So my teacher on the, after the due date will go in and grade those assignments. So be patient if you're waiting for your teacher to grade something that you've completed early, okay? Sometimes your teacher will grade something and you'll see a score like this eight, but then there will be these little speech bubbles next to it. 
So when you see the little speech bubbles next to your score, you want to click on that because that will give you some information from your teacher. It's feedback. So maybe your teacher will ask you to resubmit something. Maybe you didn't follow the directions completely. Maybe you forgot a part of the assignment. So make sure that you are listening and reading through your teacher's feedback. Okay, you'll notice at the top of your um, court, your screen here, it will show you your percentage. Okay, so you can see that. It also will give you a lot of information towards the bottom broken down by module. I'll scroll down and show you. So if you want to see what your score is by module, it will show you that score. Okay, and then it will show you that same big number, your total for the course here. Okay. All right, and then if you're ever missing anything, you can find it in here. You know, it will have this little, for example, uh, a little hash mark or a dash. So this is a participation assignment that I must have missed as I was working through. Okay, so you can either click it directly here or you can go back to your modules again. Okay, and when you click into your modules, remember that you've got those little green arrows to the right. So I can see that these are complete, but oh, I missed one, I missed something. So here you can access them as well. So you can click on the assignment directly from here. Okay, all right, so now that we've talked about all of the blue links here, we're going to talk about these last couple links on the left in the gray. So your calendar will have your assignments and also your live sessions listed. So I'm just going to page through to get to September so you can see some of these assignments. You'll notice that the assignments are due on Fridays. And if I've completed an assignment, it'll have these lines through it that I finished it. If I didn't complete an assignment, it will look like this where it doesn't have the line through the wording. Okay, so you can see that in these assignments. Okay, now when your teacher uh, has their live session days and times decided, they'll put those on your calendar as well. So you'll be able to access your teacher's link from there, or you can access your link directly back from that home page. Okay. And the last thing I have to show you is your inbox. Now this isn't going to open, but when you click on your inbox, it will give you a spot where you can compose an email and send it directly to your teacher. Just make sure that you're sending it to your teacher and be specific in any questions that you might have. You also will probably need to list the module and the seminar and the assignment that you're working on. Please be specific with your questions so your teacher can answer you well. That's it. I wish you a lot of luck this year and I hope you really enjoy your courses. Bon chance.